Let's get you all. And welcome to my review of the last episode of Samurai Jack. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, man, that, that ending. Whoa. Okay, guys, let's begin. Okay, guys, so we start this episode off with a quick montage of, like, pretty much everyone, or uh, almost everybody, who Jack has saved throughout the first four seasons of Samurai Jack. You know, the Scotsman, we see him with his daughters, those, um, um, those, the dogs, the, the archer dudes, and a bunch of, and a few others. I, and then they actually, and well, and they're all looking at the TV, wondering, like, you know, looking at it, then they actually play the original intro to Samurai Jack, complete with, like, the original voice actor Frock, whose voice, they didn't, like, redub it or anything, which I'm glad to see. Unfortunately, they actually play the whole thing with, like, you know, Samurai, back to the past Samurai Jack, you know, with the music any day playing, sadly, I was kind of like, because Aku erupts in midway when he says, like, now they fully Samurai, so you want to get back to the past and undo that is a coup. That's like, that's like, <laughs> so yeah, the kid's like, not. And then we pretty much just start with him trying to figure out how to kill Jack. He's trying to figure like, what should I use to kill this samurai? Takes him around like, like, I don't know, five minutes or so. <laughs> and next while he's like, hey, Hung up on like the wall. He's telling, he's telling to uh, Akashi, which I'm gonna call her. Um, you know the um, Haku Akashi uh, Ashi thing, like Akashi. I'm gonna call her. He's talking to Akashi, being like, Ashi, fight it. I know you're still in there. Fight it. But eventually, he winds up deciding to like, just let like, Akashi do it. Which then everybody suddenly manages to teleport to uh, uh, um, an Aku's. Tower. Now, this is like one of the only, like, real, the only flaws I have with it, is that, like, how did they all get there so quickly? Like, everybody got there, the dogs, the Scotsmen, hell, there's even Spartans in this show, I was like, there's Spartans in Samurai Jack? Okay, Spartans. I don't know how those Spartans get there. Whatever. So, yeah, and then we just pretty much just get this huge, massive fight scene between everybody of, like, them just trying, you know... You know, distract Aku, so, you know, help Jack out, and, like, you know, save Jack. They're all fighting Aku. Aku is just, from just, mopping the floor. Aku is all, they're not really doing that much damage to him. In fact, actually, Aku, like, actually, like, just ends up, like, you know, like, swapping them in the air and stuff, and then turning them into his minions. He actually squishes this whole group of them. I believe it was the archers that would just squish them with his hand, and they're all Aku minions. And they're all pretty much just going there, it's like, Aku back in the air, trying to take out some other guys, um, just like, firing stuff, and then, <laughs> and we also, and then we got the Scotsman over there playing with the bagpipes, and then actually, <laughs> actually, actually, when the Scotsman, we actually do get to see the Scotsman and Jack actually interact, and then, and Scotsman introduces Jack to all his daughters, every one of them, he names them all, and he's like, oi, so which one do you want, lad? Then, he's like, and Jack's like, oh. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, he's like, oh, my hair is too good for you, eh? He's like, no, I've seen someone. Oh, who? <sighs> and then it's Akashi. I'm like, I don't think she's your type, lad. <laughs> so yeah, and then, one, and then Jack goes up all over the top of the tower, like, turns on, then turns into good, and then just fires, like, these sharps of, like, Akun. It's and the Scotland playing the bad fights, you know, getting them away from everyone. Uh, and then later on, and then later on, we got Akash. And then we later on, Jack gets and in, goes into Akashi, from just trying to find Ashi, where he's telling her, just fight, fight Ashi, fight. And then after he's like, I, I, I love you. Tells Ashi, I love her. And then, then she finds to break free. And then, and then, and then. And then and since she's the daughter of Aku, she now has all power, so then she, like, you know, takes him, she grabs Jack's sword from him, and takes out Aku, or, like, battles him, because they have the same power, so they're both using their heat vision, you know, their swords, and, and then, and she also has the power of time control, so, Jack, when she realizes, like, oh, yeah, I have the same powers as my father, she immediately opens up a portal to the best of my son, like, wait, what? Are we, the, are we going back to the past? And then, we get back to the past. And Jack and Ashi get married. Well, they are. Well, they were. 
they were gonna win. They got the way. They got the way in which it almost. I I felt like the same. I almost got like the same feels whenever I would watch clips of Naruto shipping in uh, episode five hundred. No, the wedding of Naruto and Hinata. I almost get like I get. The, I I don't get as much feels because I. I've always, I don't get as much feels as I did with that. Oh, okay, great, I still haven't seen Shippuden. Yeah, so I don't have all that other extra baggage of Naruto between Naruto and not Whatever. But, <laughs> I guess that way Jack fans know how Naruto fans felt like we were watching episode 500 if you not to die midway. If you not to die midway when, well, she, um, well, they were getting married. But, yeah. So, Ashi gets to, goes to Jack, goes through, but then she faints to the ground. And Jack holds her in his arm, and then she disappears because of the time paradox. Oh, yeah, actually, actually, <laughs> I completely forgot to mention this. Actually, Jack actually does, when Jack does go back to that, we get to see, like, a little part of the pilot episode of Sam and Jack, where, um, Aku sends Jack back to the past the first time. There is no hope for you, Aku. I mean, there is no future for you, Aku. And opens the portal and like, what? You're back on Murphy? And then, and then Burma just Jack without no, without any hesitation, just slices up Haku into a million ways, and then finally, finally rids the world of this evil of Haku. Now, yeah, the wedding, Ashi dies in Jack's arm because of time pass, because, you know, Jack killed uh, Aku, so if he so if he died in the past, the future would never happen, meaning Ashi would never been born, and yeah. And when I saw that, I was like, "No, come on!" That's a two more times for Jack to get completely happy. And now, like a semi bitter sweet ending. Like, wait, 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 wait. this is what this episode was. This is the close. Of this episode, like around at least the ending when Jack got back to pass with Ashi, it was like this. Imagine you were taking a nice stroll on the beach. On the park, or you're in a, or if you're in a, a flower field or something, and you know you're having fun. It's all sunshine, rainbow, then some asshole, but then some, then there's some asshole behind you, sees up to you, stabs you in the heart with a guitar, twists the blade a little bit, takes it out, and leaves you for dead. That for this episode, I got, I felt like I got stabbed in the heart when I saw Ashi die. I was like, no, Jack deserves a happy ending, damn it. I mean, he still got it, but. It was, it's kind of bittersweet. Uh, but yeah, then Jack cries, we go to like some forest, I guess. Jack sees the ladybug, and the sun comes out, the cherry blossom is blooming, art's amazing, and the episode ends there. That's an, I'm very much satisfied with this ending. I've really, I love this, every, almost practically every episode this season was a 10 out of 10. This show is a fucking masterpiece. Like, I, I love this show, and I'm glad that Jack Samurai Jack did get the final and get the conclusion that it deserved, and if we can bring back Samurai Jack, who knows, maybe we can bring back, I don't know, maybe we can get Avatar in return from the dead, and we can see, like, what happened between, with A and crew midway between, um, Avatar and Korra, or maybe we can get Teen Titans Go off the air, finally, but yeah, guys, I really enjoyed this episode. 10 out of 10, like always. The show itself, I give it a 10 out of 10. It's a bloody masterpiece. Also, guys, one day I've got to men I before I met, forgot to mention, next week on Toonami, they're actually going to be airing all 10 episodes. They're just going to be airing through all 10 episodes of Season 5, so there won't be any, uh, like, um, Kai or Super Reviews next week. So, yeah. So, yeah, I guess it was a 10 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, and as always, subscribe for more. See you guys next time.